Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining. And I am Ramble Pack. We are doing our continued Batman Arkham Origins, and I am convinced there is nothing more I can do because the can. Uh, 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 uh. It's in the yellow, it's not too bad. You'll notice I dropped the frame rates, uh, the frame rate to try and make it easier for the stream, and it looks to mostly be a success. But you won't be seeing it at 60 frames. Not that you were in previous streams, anyway. Um, Literally joining... unplayable. Yeah. <laughs> joining me, of course, is Seamus Young. Hi there. All right, so uh, oh, make sure my mic volume is okay. Um, and of course, in the chat, everyone make sure that all the volume is okay. It looks like performance will be okay. Not great, but okay, which is better than how it's been. So we'll see. I mean, it's... We had one good week, it seems. <laughs> Just one where nothing went wrong. Um, but uh, where did we leave off last time? Uh, we were just got done the... The, um, the Copperhead. Copperhead? Yeah. All right, and I'm trying to remember this story. I was trying to pay more attention this time. Um, who we're going up. Because, yeah, we just defeated... Did uh, we defeat her her final fight or was it just like we we, we we fought all the the different uh illusions or whatever of her okay, the hallucinations yeah, yeah. so i think yeah i think that was the final fight and of course now i also got to make sure i remember oh there's a sniper hooray that's my favorite no thing. sniper no sniping i'm so glad i knew that was there i guess maybe i did at some point yeah he knows i'm here now Oh, man, that is a great start. Um, this is the kind of thing that I really do hate. And dang, what, yeah. getting shot? Yeah, I can understand well, that. No, I mean, like, how it's like, we're going to give you this big open world. We're going to get let you get more powerful so you can unlock more stuff. Oh, by the way, now there's snipers you have to care about. Have fun. Right. All right, let's right. hope he doesn't care as I just go this way. As I think we got to cross the bridge again, so take a drink. Oh, no, not the bridge. Come on. <laughs> I don't want Oh, no, 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 we don't. We don't. Okay. We should be good, I think. But, yeah, there's just guys all over the, the place now. Wee. Sorry to intrude, sir, but I'm receiving reports about a disturbance nearby. I'm sending the coordinates to your map. You may wish to investigate. Cry for help. SOS broadcast. Um, hold on. Where's, where's my... Give me some to give me some to hook on. Brash the spaz. This time it's different. Your goal is the is the bridge. Oh, is it? Um, it is the bridge. You're right. Okay. Thank you, Braz the spaz. Brass the spaz. It is somewhere ish here. Is it is it up that way? There's something that way. Um, one thing I noticed, I played this game this week, and one thing I noticed is the groups on the bridge. There's like a group of thugs, and then a group of cops, and then a group of thugs, and it's like, well, it's kind of odd. These guys just, if they ever moved, they'd see each other and something would happen. But because they all stay still. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Because they all stay, yeah, they, they just, they never interact with one another. Which kind of makes it feel less lived in, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of funny. It's like, well, what are these guys doing standing around in the cold all night? It's Christmas Eve. I mean, if you're going to be out here, you might as well be trying to kill each other. Clearly, thugs do not have families. Wee! Actually, they're... Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yep, it. I was going to say, yeah, I evidently passed it. But, okay, so we're here... Is it all the way up there? Oh. Okay, I just need to stand still long enough for him to automatically do the thing. There. I just need to track the signal to his location. Is that closer? Electrocutioner, that's right. Okay, so... You mean, shouldn't it just be where I last knocked him out? Whoop. 
No, no, he got back up. He got back up. Uh, Batman even said it back in Penguin's ship. You're you're definitely going the wrong way. You can see you're getting further away. Is it? The number's getting it's smaller. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's like I'm trying to read the thing. and Because, it... yeah, it shows the arrow up, and I'm trying to figure out right. this way. No, no, now right. it's the wrong way. Now it's the right okay, way. Yeah. I was reading it totally. I was reading it totally backwards. Um. Yeah. Back. Uh, I actually like this moment. Back on Penguin ship, you knock out a shinner in one hit, and then you know you go on and you just do the other shenanigans all over the ship. And then when you come back, Electrocutioner's gone, and Batman chastises himself. He's like, "I should have tied him up and and called the cops or whatever," and that felt like an acknowledged mistake. Uh, there's a lot of dumb stuff he does, and everybody's like, whoa, uh -oh. it's an earlier Batman. I'm like, that's fine, but he doesn't seem to notice he sucks. Did you see that? Did you see the sniper? No, I did not. There's a sniper somewhere over there, I'm pretty sure. I was busy listening to the melodious sound of oh, my own on. voice. That's okay. I do that too. I'll crack your skull. He's going to crack your skull. He's going to try. Okay. Oh, so oh. Another thing I noticed this week, after playing the game myself, and I missed this the first time through the game, is here, now that the fight is over, you'll get a rating in the upper left corner where it gives you yeah. a letter grade. Now, this is something... I think this is great. This is something it really... C, yeah. C grade, yeah. This is the one thing I think this game has that Arkham that's better than Arkham City. Arkham City does not it gives you a rating but it doesn't it's not like a clear rating. It's just like it gives you some XP points. And you're like 100 XP is that is that a lot? Is that good? You know, yeah. is that, it's is not that, actually is explaining it explaining to you like if you're actually do Oh, there is a sniper. Oh crap. Oh. Oh, good shot. Where was he? All the way over there. Okay. Um, this is further away. Okay, no, this is the right way, evidently. No, now it's the wrong way. Okay. Or I think when the waves are like their strongest, you're going the right way. Oh, crud. Right. This is a dude with a gun. Anyone? All right, I guess I'm just like not knocking him out. We should discuss, but we can attend to them when you're finished. Assuming you can finish. And Nick, why is he talking to me? Right, I guess there's a puzzle on this roof, and he thinks you came here to do the puzzle. But it's like, really, I was just on my way through, dude, and I why? needed to land. Why can't I? It's just a water tower. I've hooked onto the right? like a million times. Right. Why can't you latch on? I can hook this over here. Tower? I can hook over here, all the way over here. All right. Oh, there's a guy with the thing. I th think this is the way I want to go. The Joker's booked out the Royal, but why are SWAT providing security? I need to Probably because they're not SWAT. Uh oh, am I going? Get access to the Gotham. Okay, so that's my objective. I thought we were trying to track. I we right, I thought we were after Electrocutioner. And then it's like, Batman, one of us just lost the plot, and I don't know if it was me or yeah, no. you. One of us lost a thread, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I was sitting here, like, thinking I'll climb over the car. I didn't even realize I disappeared. I'm looking over the corner and everything. It's like, oh. Well, he is perfectly hidden there. That's, that's some bat snow. I just, let's stay here for the night and just... Yeah. <laughs> you know what'll keep you warm? Snow. Oh, that fire will too, evidently. See, I was expecting them right. to... Now, these guys to... are your friends, so you can just walk right up to them. I got an idea. Uh, it's probably what they expect. And... Now kiss! Exactly. Boom. <laughs> oh, there's another guy. Okay, so no matter what, I was going to be hitting... Whoop, and there we go. That, when I'm done this fight, remind me to talk about the combat a bit, because I read your... I reread your thing on the 
combat. Uh, gotcha. Nice catch. I really struggle with those. They are a pain. Ah. Did that dude have a knife? Ah. Oh, and these are SWAT guys. Okay, why do SWAT One of them guys have friggin' knives? Oh, okay. Stinking Luke etiquette. There we go. I did get an animation for that. Cool. And there nice. we go. Okay. There we go. So what I think is actually, well, there's two issues because for me, as we discussed before and we discussed um, Arkham City, my big thing is some of the animations for counters and then executions and stuff by Batman are inconsistent when it comes to the animation length. So he'll be sitting there like right. mostly doing two or three move animations and suddenly you'll have this complex like five move animation. And Arkham Origins has oh. that as well. Um that makes it tough sometimes to predict. But what Arkham Origins has that City and Asylum don't is a weird, unpredictable mook etiquette where yes. it happens sometimes in Origins and City, but not nearly as consistently. Whereas here, like as you'll see, like there are times where multiple guys will be attacking and I'm able to get the counter off easily, but then all of a sudden they all just hang back. And it, right. it's like they're working with an incomplete... Um, well, they probably they might have been working with an incomplete code base or something. Like I don't know. Like either they made modifications to it. Like they had yeah, to. Yeah, I wonder if they. I Sorry? wonder if they changed the 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 rules a bit. Like, it, to me, it felt like in City there was a rule where they weren't allowed to begin an attack if you were in the middle of an attack, and it feels like that's changed in this game. And I'm wondering if one of the reasons is. Can we reach that? Can we? No, we can't. And we can't go through that door either. I'm wondering if one of the reasons is because some of the new gear that they put in this one is like they, they had to change the AI a little bit. And as a result, that means the etiquette was modified. It was changed. It doesn't work quite the same. All right. Um... All right, I can at least do a double takedown. Boom. Another thing I really... Well, here, we'll get we'll get through this, and I'll... I don't want to jump on from one topic to another too much. We're, we'll get to it here soon. All right. Um, oh. From the people who brought you that last stuff, it's more of the same. Boom. Now we have a mixture of the Joker. Uh-oh. Wrong guy. And that threw me off the whole time. I love how no matter what the gun, like, lockers, rates, have a... Oh, that's right, you can't instant knock him out, which is lame. You can't, what, what do you have to do? I don't remember. And now I'm... Okay, boom, boom. See, like, that right there was a longer animation than I expected. And that lost my, me my combo. And just got to keep countering this guy until he's done. And lose my combo in the process from comboing early. So, did you stop with that? Bah. Bash. 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 Now I can instant knock out. What happened to the armor, dude? You knocked him out. You, oh, you okay. Out. Ah. See, again, like a counter that's way longer than any of the other animations. There we go. Now I can knock this guy out. Oh, crap. I was hoping to get the other guy. No, you're okay. good. I'm good, yeah. Ooh. All right, there we go. All right, you had a rough start, but the, the last part of that fight was actually really good. Yeah, part of it is getting back into the flow, and part of it is, again, like, some of these new units don't mix as well. 
these armored guys just really disrupt the flow real bad, I feel like. They do. Oh, they do. So, we got Brad Despaz says, The martial artists just have to be beaten normally and fairly certain beatdowns work on them. They're an attempt to reduce button spam so they can double attack and counter you. It feels like an attempt to build on the ninjas from City. I don't think it worked all that well myself. Because basically what it just does is focus... Like, you just focus on countering more. Right, and I... Yeah... And I think they need to look more different. Everybody's wearing black, and in a busy fight, they just blend into the crowd. They should have... Like, the ninjas were female. They had a totally different silhouette. Um, I think those guys should have lights on them, or be bright red, or something. I, I know they kind of have red under their armor, but I mean, like, really eye-grabbing color. So that you know, do not just punch this guy. Because um, it's just way too easy for them to blend into the crowd and you end up trying to hit them. Well, there's also a different set of armored guys, if I recall, too. Yeah, that's the so, other thing, is there's guys with just regular armor that you have to stun them before you punch them. And then there's those guys that are like armored ninjas, and they look basically indistinguishable. So I think... Oh, no, 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 I misunderstood what I was looking at. This part just feels like an excuse to have the to, to have this tool like exist. It's such a useful tool. I kind of wonder why Batman didn't still have it in the future. Yeah, but well, again, it's like in you know why? Because you would have just been able to grapple up here in the future rather than having to create a tightrope to grapple to. Right. All right. So we got the gate released. Especially given Knight went right back to ninjas. Yes. Again, though, that's partially because that was Rocksteady going right back to where they wanted to... The Joker's ambulance. ...expand to. He must be in the building. <laughs> that's That's genius detective work. The Joker's ambulance. <laughs> he must still be here. <laughs> it's like brilliant deduction there, Holmes. World's greatest detective. All right, so this door we probably can't... Well, can we? Because all the arrows are pointing to it. And there's no open option, so... All right. <sighs> Thank you, game. Thank you, level designer. That's just weird. That's interactivity. That's game design. Walk over, push button, open door. Uh, what did I need to... Oh, wait. There's a command here. There we go. The elevator runs by crank power. <laughs> I like the, the hotel, the janky Christmas music. That's fine. Well, yeah. I love that the ambulance had a vanity plate. Oh, I missed it. Oh, cool. You can, uh... Oh, it's Great. actually hiding in uh, uh, an Enigma pack. Really? Oh, yeah, that's funny. um. That how do I climb up to that? No, you you use a claw to grab it. Oh, I could just. Oh, I wasn't actually expecting that to work because of the angle was at. Uh, okay. left trigger and Y is the f quick fire that. Here to take down yes, building. it is. Wonder what other surprises I'll find. Yeah. All right, immediately hide. Oh, are these the ones that crumble and fall apart after a while? Oh, uh, no, maybe not. Well, time to use our favorite tool. Yoink! Yup. That does feel pretty OP. Um, where's the tool that... That's you can use a batarang to cut him down. Oh, yeah, um, I saw that comment. I forgot all about that. Yeah. Right, and the then cut him down, yeah. and then uh, just do it and again. It, it's, yeah. it 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 also spooks them when the body lands; they freak out. So it's good when when you're trying to like distract them or whatever. I did that too early. All right, now I just disrupted it. Did it disrupt his gun instead? Oh, I think that disrupted his gun instead. Oh well. Boo. Oh. Which is a shame because that would actually inform me of more options, but well, 
Oh, and there goes another one. Let's see how long it takes for them to learn their lesson. Let's see. They go unconscious from having their uh, the blood rush to their head real quick, don't they? Oh. Oh boy. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, got oh, a gun. Oh, that's the guy with the backpack in front of you there. Oh. Yep. But real quick, even though I didn't take him down this way, I'm gonna... Okay, we can go... Hey, hey, look, a random Enigma pack. Alright. Enigma pack 64. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that dude's over there, but there was another guy wandering around. Yeah, okay, so they found that body. Hey, you really out? Oh. All right. So everyone's I over always there. take out, uh, because I um, use detective vision so much in these encounters, I, I that, those disruptor guys are actually a huge, like, those are my Achilles heel, so I'm always after them first. And the game designer knows this, and so they're often in, in the middle of, of the pack of people. And that's sort of goaded me into doing some very stupid things and making mistakes in the past. Like trying to go for a guy in the middle instead of, you know, starting on the outside like a smart person. <laughs> well, that was almost what I was about to do. I was fortunate enough not to get seen. Let's see if I can get someone from the great. Oh. Oh. And. Oh, that was a great move. Oh! Set of a gun! And I love how I, I get caught on the geometry. Alright, are they still... Because I would like to open up that little grate there. Alright, you're going up. Oh, you can run at a grate and slide into it and get so we, through it without having to pry it. All right, you did figure that out. How do you how do you how do you run again? You run you, at it and then right trigger. There we go. You're right. Excellent. Nice. I remembered that while I was playing earlier. And I was like, "Oh, that's right." No. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't do it from the inside. Yeah. <laughs> but at the very least, you're not as visible already by default, so... You can't do a double takedown from inside the grid, I think. Okay, that you can punch through. Can we finally do a fancy takedown this way? He's too far no. away! You jerks. And he's going up anyway. There was a dude around here, wasn't there? But not anymore. Oh, wow, he spotted me. Yep. Well, fortunately, he's, uh... He's really, he's really convinced you're gonna pop back out of that grave. Well, guess what, Chucklehead? Wow! Wow! I guess I get spotted by one of the guys upstairs. This is all because now I'm trying to be creative. I should have right. just kept sticking them up to the gargoyles. But it is good to, like, vary it. I mean, like, then you have more tools later in the game because you've practiced more stuff. It's just that means you make more mistakes earlier in the game. Yeah. When you get to the Bane fight, you'll be glad you sort of, like, did all this extra stuff. Spoiler! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We still got to reveal the. We still got to reveal Bane here. Yeah, I am ready for to get back to. Oh, hip, he's coming. Hmm. So Not previously, sure. you asked me if I what I thought of. The Suicide Squad game. I've since seen the gameplay demo and it looks super fun. 
Okay, I was curious about that because it is a very, very big change. Right. I'm I'm already deciding, okay, I need to not go into this expecting Batman. This is obviously like you I think you said, yeah, it's it's more Saints Row than anything else. That's what my buddy Joey commented, and that's actually the funny thing, because that's what sold me on it. Because my first thought was actually that Sunset Overdrive game by Insomniac. That too. Very that similar. Too. Um but yeah, the man, I'm starting to feel a little pinned down here. Yeah. I might just need to do something brave. Uh, you could just you could come out and throw a batarang at him, just to knock him down, and then that's not a change move. position. Um, or actually, you could I do that. Just, I could have probably just knocked him out. Yeah, actually, that would have been the move. And now that guy's coming down. Oh, he's got night vision, or someone does. I heard someone turn on night right. vision. Right. You knocked out somebody with night vision, so I guess there must have been two of them. All right. I'm going to see if I can get up to that. Here we go. And you're coming right under just in time. Or so I thought. Oh, come on. And Yoink. there we go. Yoink. And it's the night vision guy, too. All right. In terms of teaching, this game also does a non-existent job of introducing heartbeat monitors and thermal goggles. That's also true. They just true, assume. Yeah. They just assume. Oh, you you played City, right? You don't need to learn the mechanics. Why is it saying I can't string that guy up? Maybe it's too far away. Oh, there was an explosive I could have done. Oh well. Uh, is it just the three of them now? Yeah, now would be the time to cut down the guy that they're all looking at, just because that's a great way to screw with them, because they're yep. all looking at him. Oh, you got to move after you do it, though. Um, yeah, because otherwise they'll spot me. Just oh, wondering. yeah, you can just drop down and... That's what I'm thinking, just, yeah. Drop down and give him a big old hug of just... Oh, oh and he goes down. Yeah, no, he's down there. You coward! Get back up here and get your hug. But if these guys aren't doing their paranoid, like, look both ways, then I could actually yeah, they're take not. one one down and maybe the next. Do it. Do it. You're streaming. You have, you have an excuse to live, live dangerously. See... They look like payday characters. Oh, they do. The boiler suits with the clown mask. You know what's even better about that? My brother's been paying, playing Payday 2. Armpit. And the other <laughs> dude's completely unaware. And evidently Payday 2 has lore? I'm finding out. Like, there's all kinds of, like, you steal conspiracy documents and other stuff. So Here. it's like, wow, that's what fancy. Physics engine. Okay. Bam. Oh, that was a nut punch. <laughs> oh. Goodness. I need to get inside the security room. Young Batman really is brutal. Okay. Which one's the security room? No, don't tell me, Batman. Let me fumble around and guess. I know. It's that, it's that weird in between. There it is. It's that weird in between where it's like, game, don't give me objective markers to everything. I want to find things myself. Game, I need a little bit of a hint here. Right. I spy. That's a terrible pun. Get well, it? one Security? of the reasons you get you get stuck in these environments is because they are so surreal in their in their in their construction. These places don't make sense. Friends. Yeah. Assassins. Oh, uh, well, well, now bad. there's Bane. Oh, oh, here we go. As you can see here, Batman. Or it's clearly Joker. Are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And, and by we, I mean. Oh, it was like electrocutioner. <laughs> I, he's got a great line in here. He's like, 
Cushioner? Just who? I love that line. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Cushioner. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know, they, they don't have a lot of great things, but... See, it feels like it would have been a more Joker thing for him to have actually killed him. Like, right. To kill the Batman, you shut the hell up and kill the Batman! Okay, so... Anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. Okay, so there we go. And then Batman saves him, and then Joker immediately understands that Batman never lets people die. Or wait, wait, yeah, that's not this like, scene. <laughs> that's not this scene. It's another one. But Joker immediately intuits what makes Batman tick. And I thought that was too quick. Like, well, maybe he just needed some information from the guy. Well, this is now because I actually discussed with Oliver Fleur Fleur on your comment section because he was saying like he liked the scene. And one of my things was was Joker observing. Like, Joker's now saying he hired everyone to kill the Batman, but did he? Right. And, and, like, was it Roman or was it he? Him? And no, granted, again. I'm when he gets here, I'm not to kill overly paying attention to the story, so I'm not fully informed. Maybe you could f fill in when you with during so your replay. You wait. But and Bane immediately <laughs> chooses well, strength. This should be interesting. Maybe this is part of the thing too. Like Joker, they didn't do too badly in writing. It's just so sure. many other elements they did. And again, I, Troy Baker, we got to give him credit because the dude's I like do. in everything, but there's a reason. And I feel like he does Maybe electrocution or try to get roles where platform. he gets to stretch himself. Like the medium was not one of the more impressive games I played this year. Um, and it was at the very beginning of the year, but him trying to do like the monster creature, he did a good job. Um, and I, I would totally give him credit I, for f not only for doing this Joker and doing a darn good job of it, but also for just having the guts to. I mean, that, that Mark Hamill's a tough act to follow. Oh yeah. So like, yeah, credit where it's due. It was a gutsy move, and he pulled it off. So I respect him for that. Yeah. So now we're up here. I needed that in order to grapple up here. Huh. Your officer. Oh, that's right. Because they had these areas that. That's why you can't just grapple to anywhere because they don't really do the best job closing certain areas off. Right. But no. Like, so who is it? So who is it that he saves out the window now? I'm getting different parts of the game confused. Not yet. Getting too. Well, I suppose it's probably coming up soon because I know it happens in this hotel. Yeah, it is a very important thing to establish, though. But that does give the idea, or that's it. What is it with this game and fire and irresponsible right? uses of fire? Hey, why is there a steel, a 50 gallon drum burn barrel here in this posh hotel? Like, did the, some thugs bring that in when they took the place over? And or is the couch is on fire like but like nothing else is on fire and that this particular arrangement of plasma doesn't last very long it either spreads or goes out so like what's going on here i don't even know why i'm doing this i just know video game logic right oh am i gonna have to do like we I never even knew I could... Alright, now I can insta-take down somebody. Oh, see, I oh. lost it because I saw oh. those two guys charging me. Yep. Oh, I love how I kicked Aaron and it hit him anyway. Yeah, they charge you, and in City, oh. they would have attacked right away. And in this game, sometimes they do this weird pause, and it causes you to break your combo. Because you, you could see the attack is coming, but no, it didn't say yet. Oh, I just... Oh, I could get hit and this shot club is still going. 
You just gotta let the shock bolts charge, I guess. That's how they work. Okay. And now he's already got things set up for the multiple TVs because that's how it happened in Arkham Asylum. Like, that's the other thing. Yeah, like, all the mo mo monitors was fitting in Arkham Asylum here. The Joker already had his shtick. He already had this stuff. But again, like, is he only recently obsessed with killing the bat? Or has he wanted right. the bat dead the whole game and it wasn't actually Black Mask that hired them all? And I think that's very important for trying to figure things out because like, if he's been following the Batman for a while, I feel like that's something you want to try and establish a little better. Because that would help explain why as well. Again, like, why does he put on the show like he does? But that's not what I use. Okay, I guess I got to aim for it. And pull. All right, Joker replaced Black Mask, then hired the assass assassins using the money he stole. So, in other words, he already wanted to kill Batman before beating Batman. Why? Yeah, yeah. Like in this game, Batman. Most people think he's still he's still a myth or whatever. Yeah, it is a little. It feels like they're in a hurry to establish the Batman rivalry in a single night. When you know, I would imagine that. You know, in storytelling terms, you would imagine that was something that developed over the course of years, not suddenly formed in a single night. The two of them met, understood each other, and developed this intense rivalry. You're also... There we go. Now I can... Oh. We... Oh yeah, that's what I got. The that was weird. Again, I broke my combo because what? I was attacking nobody? Now I can do an instant takedown. If you can do the entire encounter in a single unbroken combo without taking damage, you get an ass rank. Oh, that's what it is. Well, I hesitated just a millisecond You should get an A for this, too. though. You, you should um, get an A rank for that. Because that oh, I got was a level pretty up. good. What'd I get? B. B? Uh, that nah. was okay. Oh, well. Um, okay, here is my gripe about the level ups. I just noticed this today. I hate how under close combat uh, upgrades right here, it makes you take armor upgrades before you get to the other stuff this is something i love to do in city it's like hey i'm good at the game now i don't need a million armor points i actually deliberately avoid taking them yeah so that i can get the better abilities and you know the faster takedowns and the more toys and that's a totally like that's that's part of your reward as a skilled player is oh boy i don't have to get as much armor and you know it kind of feels a little more adventuresome to go around with low armor. I did a no armor upgrades run of the game once. And that was yeah. fun. You know, you had to be really precise and you couldn't make mistakes. But, but then, uh, this game won't let you do that. Yeah, because in like uh, any of the other Arkham games, I would already have this times five instant takedown thing. Yes. Like I would have already grabbed that because to me that's more important because you don't need armor if you have stuff like that. Right. So, like, I really dislike that they make you basically buy training wheels before yeah. you can buy the cool Please. stuff. You have to get the armor, yeah. Holding them hostage in the overview bar. Where is that? The suspended bar between the towers. But, yes, I feel like just about every one of these fights ends up having me... Why does that have a number two on it? Um, I guess it's point value for these guys. Oh, and then there's this. Okay, so, yeah. They definitely lean hard into the more twisted sort of stuff from Asylum, but... Again, like, this is Christmas Eve, and why are these guys here at the hotel on Christmas Eve? Well, okay. Okay. Okay, this is the, the, the thinky brain now. This is Christmas Eve, and there's a, a, a warning, so why are people at, like, the bank? Like, why is the bank lady there? She shouldn't be because, you know, they're told to be home. 
The right. hotel, I can understand being stabbed, but then why do they act like there's no guests? Right. <laughs> so, I want to know, did Joker bring that game show wheel of fortune up to this up to the hotel, the, the yeah. like, party of the floor of that the hotel. That takes work. Man, that takes work and effort, yeah. Like, where so, did you even get that? You can't buy that at Home Depot. This is definitely a sort of, like, gamer brain, just go with a logic. Sure, idea. you're definitely... You, and you definitely have to do some of that when you're playing a Batman game. It is just funny, though. Yeah, because I feel like Asylum, especially, your brain doesn't break as easily, because it all makes sense. Like, Oh, like, the more you play the game, the more and more cops get strung up. Because why? Because the insane people are on the loose in the asylum, and Joker's encouraging it. Um, so I ended up missing. You left out. I've got a special gift just for you right up here. And it's wrapped in about 400 pounds. Okay, now he's selling, uh, he's selling Bane. I miss what he was Being talking really about. really way in at 400? Woo! That's, that's a lot of muscle. That's, that's dense. That's a fancy penthouse. That's the bar. They built that too? Uh, <laughs> they built a freaking roller coaster on the side <laughs> of the hotel. Oh, uh, hold on. We got uh, more comments from our buddy here. Um, adding it on top of the mandatory armor upgrades or how some abilities are locked behind side which yes uh, challenges and stuff like one of my favorite abilities can only be unlocked after the hotel am I supposed to be holding something I can't even move the camera there we go are they what was it about to let me hook on to the zip line the zip line okay Well, now they're just looking at me. Oh, dang. Looks like the one getting shot is you. <laughs> oh, the turret. Or wait, should I just disrupt it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a disruptor. And now it's just a fight with armored guys. Ah. What? I... Got you. Ah. Nice camera there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, WB Games. That camera was very helpful. There we go. Can I take this guy down with this? And of course, but it cost me a... Would you just leave me beat this guy down? And oh, oh, that I was a his leg and he flew over there. <laughs> that that struck me as being like a hip dislocation. That sounded nasty. Yeah. Okay, just forward through the door. I got a grade C on that one, which is Superior Vigilante. I love how the grade and the name of it makes it sound very... Like, if I get right. a grade C, I don't feel like a Superior Vigilante. Right. But, it should be grade C, grade C, dull thug. But that's the thing. That's where, like, you're playing Devil May Cry and all the game's press are like, why is the game making me sound so uncool because I can't get higher than a grade C? And it's like, because... You're not cool when you play this game. You don't know enough combos. Well, I thought I would be able to just jump there. Okay. Wasn't Brandon in one of the other ones too? Or am I confusing it? Like, I feel like Brandon was a crooked cop in Asylum or something. Oh, right. There is that this kind of heavy set guy. Uh, is he named Brandon or Brandon that was or the the heavy set guy is definitely in like the movie. He's in um, 
Right. The cartoon, though the cartoon was a different character. Uh, we getting a. Uh, we getting glove bombs soon. Uh, glue bombs. Glue bombs. Hey, guess who's getting uh, dropped? Yoink! Now. Okay, I was gonna say, do they make sure to do the bat? Uh, I guess partially yeah, they, because it's already yeah, coded in. Do they do the Spider-Man thing where it's like, you gotta make sure nobody actually dies. I'm pretty sure this is not the way, and this is actually to a secret, but I'm curious. Um, okay, I, I don't even... Like, where are we, stuff. and what is this place for? Oh, that's a uh, Rolly Fitz. Is this? Feels like we're at the top of Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> Just this endless maze of infrastructure and fans. Bowls that bowls. Did I just? Oh, it's from Asylum. Yeah. Okay, Brandon's from this game and the comics. Okay, did I just go in a circle? I should. Sure I don't have. know, man. I should have because. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man, either. I'm gonna drop down and see if this is to something fancy, like a secret. Nope, that's death. Okay, that just kills you. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Okay, game. Thanks. <laughs> this time you're like, is this a secret? No, it's death. Is that is that a drinking game? Can we make that a drinking game thing? <laughs> right. Is this a secret like... or is this the way forward? No, it's just a bottomless pit with glowing <laughs> orange items to make you think there's gameplay at the bottom. It's uh, like putting a collectible at the bottom of a bottomless pit that insta kills you. It's like just trying to trick you. Oh no, you didn't the find over. the correct route to it. You didn't you didn't go the way we wanted you specifically to go. The fact that that's already up is also leaving me like I feel so much like I've already been here, though I know I can't have been. Well, I got that guy at least. Boom! Nice. I did unlock that one. That was also one of my favorites. The insta knockout when you successfully dodge. Okay, that 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 dude don't have his flesh no more. That's that's. Oh, can you up. imagine the smell? Exactly. Joker's sleigh ride. It's Joker's sleigh ride. Again, he's it's already he set the whole thing up. This is also again video game logic. Like the asylum, it made sense because there's monitors everywhere already. Here he set up all of these CRT televisions, which again, what year is this? Um, intentionally to communicate right. and you know exactly the route that Batman will be taking. Right. This is a weird world that has that has smartphones but also CRTs. And it's like that, the, that, those technologies do not overlap. Yeah, it's, it, well, very specific, like smart, yeah, okay, you said smartphones, I'm thinking cell phones, which. Uh, earlier when we, when we were investigating well, that murder scene, it was, it was definitely a smartphone. Yes, it was. Oh, I wanted to take down the big armored dude. Alright. Just hammer him away. Again, the wrong guy. Oh, wait, no. Cool. The one counted as a, um... Ah. Oh, oh, that's so close. I know. I could have had over 30. And again, no, I would have lost it there. Just because it's like... <laughs> physics. I love the physics on this. This game was designed with 60, uh, 30 FPS in mind, and so once you put it up to 60, bodies just fly everywhere. Oh, we got a basking! City budget didn't allow for updates. Okay. Uh, I don't know which that to comment to specifically, but... Um, yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. That was not surprising. Um. Oh, shoot. Did it not? What's what's going on? Okay, that's green. That doesn't do nothing. What? I got a countdown timer. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh. So now what? Um, okay, I can just... Yeah, you're doing all this, and I don't even know what your goal is. Oh, oh and you can't punch through... Uh, I can't you have punch through cardboard, up. yep. Again, breaking the language I think it's a bomb? Christ. So this game assumes that you know all the gameplay mechanics with City, but then it breaks the language of the game from yeah. that you learned no, in City. No. Um... Knock, knock. There we go. Okay. All right. All right, there we go. I just to replace CRT TVs. Oh, but this isn't a government building. It's a private building. Mr. Basket. Right. Like, Joker must have gone out of his way to find stacks of old televisions. You know what? He bought... He, 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 uh... He ripped them off from the same guys as uh, the first Fast and the Furious movie where they got all of the uh, DVD players. Or VH... Was it DVD players or was it uh, VCRs? Are they stealing? I can't remember which one it was. VCR? Oh, that's weird. In a Fast and Furious movie. It I mean, was I'm sure right it was at the cusp. It was like right at the cusp of uh, technology change. I think it was VCRs. Like TV VCR combos. I need a greater range in order to reach that. Name here, guy. As far as I know, the the password thing is just is just groping around. And where is it supposed to go to? Where is the feud box? Fuse box. Uh oh, goodness! Inverted controls. Inverted controls. I'm lost now. Where is the fuse box? Okay, do I... Oh, that's gonna be it just below that big square orange there thing. There it is. Yeah. That's the fuse box, okay. Uh, okay, I gotta go through this eye hole, okay. We Got it, okay. How do, this is a still functioning hotel. It still has employees. What labor union did he contact <laughs> to build all this? To like it made, build all of this in one night. He must have built this just tonight. Otherwise, this would have been you know an ongoing project for the last couple of weeks. I know. I don't think he did anything this intricate, even in the steel mill, did he? In city. Like there was some intricate oh, stuff. Oh, the, there was but... a there was a whole working roller coaster in the steel mill that he used to develop. He deliver mooks to the big fight. Did it automatically just select the batarang for me? Oh, I, I, I missed the sequence. I was trying to figure stuff out. All right. I try to pull him out. One, three, four, two. Okay. One, three, four. Four, three, one, two. Four, three, one, two. Now they start glowing real quick. Oh, oh. Well, that's it. Oh, now they gotta explain the whole, like, wanted to make him laugh, I guess. Which, I don't know that... I feel like that was really good in the Batman Return of Joker from Batman Beyond. But again, now we're talking about Paul Dini. Right. Is just... Alright. What do I lock that on to? I'm not supposed to fight those guys, am I? No, why would you fight a room full of goons, Chris? 
That makes no sense. I'm sure they're there for no reason. Well, I'm not sure I can make sense of this room. Oh, no. Okay, I guess I can. Hello, this Nolan LP. Big oh, hey, Nolan. How's it going? Nolan and Basking are two of my regular viewers. Um, I would recommend, of course, that they read your blog, just as I do on the regular. And uh, the wind is too strong. You can't go outside. So we're just going to leave this open here for decoration's sake. Also, not only did they build a roller coaster on the side of a hotel, but they did it in high winds. Yes. There we go. Oh, big guy. Oh, I just lost my take. Oh God, big guy. Oh God, get away. Oh, come on. Aren't you gonna, what are you waiting for you jerk? I'm sitting there like, again, mook etiquette and the inconsistency of it. No, nope, wrong button. Shoot, that was my bad. That was my bad. Now we yeah, got don't a big let guy, we got you. an armored guy. Ah. Nolan all love your advice. Oh, hey, look, cool. I've got the trivializer button. Oh, against, except against the big guy. Oh, shoot. Okay, shot gloves do not trivialize Big Bane. All right, special combo. It did, oh, I was hitting the wrong buttons. I was not hitting A and B. Oh. Yeah, you're going to want to uh, make it so the big guy doesn't grab you. Because he's very strong and it'll hurt you. Oh, I lost my combo again. All right, I think the armored dude's at least down. Big guy, yeah, I hate definitely, you. He's definitely not on your side, Chris. No, he's definitely... Uh, not that I'm helping. I'm helping, chat. That, that's what I'm doing. Oh, cool. You can actually knock him off the balance, though. Oh, that was so worthwhile. I'm so glad I used my shot gloves, then. Can I turn them down? Turn them off? Nope. You just... You let him go. The clock is ticking. A clock. Oh, there we go. Button. Button. That's what I was looking for. You know, oh, they, they've evidently a giant jack in the box up here in this hotel, too. You know, I gotta say, after putting in this much work, I kind of feel like Joker just deserves the win. You know what's also funny? Like, halfway through that, just thinking... Sorry, I'm, I'm now occupied by... I noticed a thing. Now I want to make the... Uh, now I need to do the thing. Is your ever made a button that uh, just explodes? No. Oh, that would be hilarious. Just a button that explodes. What? What's up, Pong Face? Doesn't work? Weird. What's up, Nerf Face? Why the long face? Ah, yes. I mean, basically it is just keep moving the sticks until it makes a sentence that makes sense. Whoop, wrong button. Yay. I got a <laughs> I thing. Thought we were gonna, I thought we were going to progress forward, but no, nope. you were collecting. Oh, no, no, no. Stuff. That was me being distracted. I knew exactly what we needed to do. I was just like, there's okay. stuff over there. I must get it now that I've noticed it. Now, this has been an interesting night of me being more analytical of scenery and design than normal. But he's hugging his little oxygen tank, isn't that? Or fire extinguisher. This is so cuddly. I thought it was a helium tank for balloons. Batman, Batman, walk over the carpet, please. Batman. 
Batman, you're going to need to use your grapnel hook to get over this obstacle. That... Sometimes this game is nonsensical to me. Who are you? <laughs> I'm here to help. There are more of them. I they love how like, this era of games especially, it's They're like forcing them. the main characters look so good and then NPCs are okay. like... Right. We'll just model something that looks vaguely human together. <laughs> uh, oh, now the door. <laughs> just, let's just take some me's off. <laughs> just take some me's. Oh, from the Wii. The bat ain't showing up. You all right if we ice these guys? Yeah, what the hell? Let's do this. He says we can kill him. Guys, look. I'm on TV. Hi, Ma. Hey, Mickey. Come here, baby. Get a shot at it. Hey, take it down. Uh-oh. And you are Oh, wow, that dude, gone. he looks bigger than the other big dudes. Well, he's an armored big dude. Oh, I see. So he's like double... Are you gonna... One of you's gonna do something. And one of them's got an accent for some reason. Oh, what's that? It voice act that voice actor is oh, from God. something. That exact voice and accent. I mean, I it probably sounds a it. bit like Penguin's Cockney that was stumped by Nolan North. Alright, now you're the only jerk. Alright, you, uh... Um... I can at least knock you off balance, but none of this... Oh! That's all you need to do is the ultra stun. And then you pull his belt. Ah. Pants him. And then he'll be so embarrassed he'll quit fighting. Okay, that was not very interesting at all after all, but hey. The hostages are safe. I need to hurry to the penthouse and stop the Joker. Where are the hostages? I guess them over there. Was Vicky never actually here? I guess it was just the guy talking about I'm on TV. All right, now we're. Yeah, I think going? it was just one of the CCTVs that Joker has around. But that's what I assumed. Or maybe he was talking about the news copter outside. Possibly. And now we gotta blow cardboard up again. Oh, is that what he does? He saves Vicky Vale or something? He doesn't let Vicky Vale die. I'm trying to remember because I know we got to fight Firefly, but we also fight Firefly and this is just a bridge fight that's like half quick time event, right? Uh, I don't remember. Because you got to chase him in the Batmobile in the, in the, in Arkham Knight. This is a really big hotel. Yes, it is. With absolutely no guests. But, and again, like, the, the blizzard was only Christmas Eve, so. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, and Happy New Year countdown. So they were prepared for that really well, set quick. To detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Yeah, but you got, like, a week, dude. You found my snowman bombs. Around... It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be Happy New Year. There we go. That's a, that's a great type of Nolan. Do you know of a better place to acquire large me? Oh, I gotta die through the window. There we go. Oh, they had that. They, they at least had that mechanic from Arkham City. The ability right. to hang off a helicopter. I do like that he... I mean, that's basically like a button that explodes. <laughs> Wait, that was going to be what detonated on New Year's? That wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't, sp it wasn't supposed to go off for a week. And then by hacking it, you made it go off now. What the heck are these statues? I don't know if we'll be able to get a good look after this. Oh, this gimmick of a fight. Turning it 
turning of a new leaf. What? Well, thanks for breaking my combo game. No, hit the A B A B A B. There we go. Okay, that's not actually as good as I was hoping it'd be. I don't need shot gloves. I'm just gonna knock you down. Ah. One of these guys just randomly got an accent. What? Why didn't you? Okay. Now we got. Oh, son of a gun! Okay, the electro gloves might not be as insta win as I was thinking. I countered you. Oh, that's why they got the accent because they're sinking Bane's guys. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. Best two out of three. <laughs> oh, too bad, so sad. <laughs> yeah, she's a fish and mailed. Okay. Looks like the electric gloves just insta days, but don't disable. Yeah. After it helps with the bigger guys, but. Why did he attack air there? This is... Oh my goodness, I'm already having issues just with the counter timing. So sick of the... Luke etiquette. Being illogical. Oh, that's right, you can't counter that guy and you technically don't lose your combo and you're... Ah. All right, got you. Ouch, hip dislocation. Yep. See, that counter, now the counter attack animations are faster than my regular attacks. And I didn't see that guy coming. All right. I still gotta take care of the counters, and that was out of range, I guess. It's also a matter of the targeting in this game, too. There we go. Is the takedown. I got the counter off on you. All right, gotta play more defensively here. Really? The middle of that animation, that guy could just get up and do that. And bam, finally. Oh. Ah. That fight was annoying. Boy, that was easy. <laughs> uh, grade C, superior vigilante. Oh, so you, I guess it can't give you below a C. That's a possibility. I mean, like that or a grade D you, looks really bad. Like, what could you do to get a grade D if that wasn't a grade D? I'm not trying to dunk on you. That was oh a hard no fight, no that's but... fine. Sir, I've just seen the explosion of the Gotham Royal on the news. The hotel guests are they safe? Not now, Alfred. Sir. Okay, so there are guests. Right. Your voice. I'm fine, Alfred. Again, how do you? I've dealt with psycho. How do you just get away with completely re? He's got a he's got some kind of a labor union or something. That or the lab this is what happens. It's like I got Sionis's money. Here, labor union, work for me. 
He had all these copies made of his face. I see the Joker's men here have been eliminated. Oh, oh right. boy. This place. That's a lot of dead bodies. I remember really struggling in this room. I don't remember exactly how it goes, but I remember this particular encounter kicking my ass. And Bane already has men of his own, too, is a weird thing. Well. There's one. Find out who's screaming. Avenge me! Avenge oh. <laughs> <laughs> me! That is hilarious. Release me! Send that guy back up! Uh, avenge me. That's. I did not expect to hear a guy say something like that, but I love it. Right, I love it. He's hanging there upside down. Oh, avenge me. And it's like. Not you're not gonna ask them to cut you down and you know hand you a weapon so you can get back. No, just well, avenge me. Here, I'm out. But but you're still alive. <laughs> no, like... no, I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh, go Somebody... on without me. Remember me fondly. Somebody got paid money to write that line. It, it was pretty hilarious. True, true. It was at least worth that. Oh, he's got mines now. Oh, oh! They all got my. Oh, interesting. I wonder, can I can yeah. I set one off? No, I uh, can't. The disruptor can turn them off, but there's three mines, and you only get two disruptor charges. Yeah, and they're gonna keep planting them. I don't want to use the charges like that. Oh, I wish I could remember what the trick was, or how I did this, or what the, or what was it about this encounter That's that what I want. just made it so much of a nightmare. Got him. Got him with the explosives. I was playing earlier today, and I did that to somebody, and it didn't knock them out. It just knocked oh. them down. No, it does seem inconsistent because last time we played. Uh, um, it knocked one guy out, but it didn't knock another guy out. Oh, now they're gonna hit. To okay, they're actually getting smart. Oh, right, they trapped the gargoyles. Oh, right, and I spent a lot of time perched on gargoyles, and yep. so then I had to retreat into these, and it's so much harder to fight from below. That's, I remember. Yeah, and really the trick is, I think you're actually doing much better than I did. Uh, you need to take out a bunch of guys before they start trapping the gargoyle. Uh, so he already saw me go in there, okay. But he didn't come, he seemed to come here. Oh, well at least I know the way into the penthouse. Too bad I, uh... Alright, I just need you to come around to me. <laughs> what is he shooting? Um, that's a good question. Take that, waterfall. So... Two hostiles left. Okay. We can do that easy. Technically, I might be able to get you by this grate. Or not. I might actually... Oh, no, I was spotted the once because the guy saw me run into the one grate. Surprise! Hi! The stink of death. Ran into 6-4. I'm on site at the Royal. Anyone have eyes on the bat? 6-4. He's on his way 
They still think it's Sionis, huh? Spl Splash Mountain? Splash down! Are penthouses usually this huge? I don't know. I don't go to a lot of penthouses. <laughs> Nolan with his optimism. Just because he's alive doesn't mean he hasn't given up on life. Batman should probably pay for his therapy. <gasps> this is in response to the Avenge Me, Avenge Me comments. Here we go. Because we just needed so many villains in this game. Nice of you to drop in. And this, of course, being one of the scenes that they showed in the trailers to be like, by the way, Joker's in this one too. Remember, you gave your word. I love that. <laughs> you have one minute. Do they even have manners where he comes from? <laughs> you see. It's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas. At least they didn't have the origin of Harley Quinn in this game. All right. This one. Boom. How many lives did you just take? None. I think. That was just a little stalking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> Damn. But this one isn't. <laughs> <laughs> that thing could be live and... Actually, you know what? Is it... Okay, I punched him once and he kept laughing and then the game decided, uh... We're in cutscene still. I wanted to admire uh, Troy Baker. Oh, oh, what's that alluding to? Not what you thought it was. Wait, Harley Quinn's origin is in this game? And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present to you the Did I somehow miss where? And bam! Let me actually level up real quick. Um, <laughs> one moment, Bane. I'll be right with you. One moment, Bane. I need to level up. It's important. I My parents just, are dead. Uh, I was just wondering about that made up, and for me, what is what is Bane's grudge? But I I've never really followed Bane's like war or whatever, so oh. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's... Actually, I don't know. Again, there's so many characters, and they just... Right? They just take for granted the idea that these guys are going to want to, like, take each other on. Like, everyone knows... But yeah, like, the regular cops and citizens don't know if Batman's even real or not. Right. And, and yet so, here, look, all the villains know it, and right. are just going to. Uh, and they've all already developed these. These everybody's oof. got these terrible crutch, um, grudges against them, and it's like, what? and the game is sort of depending on our knowledge of existing lore, and it's like you know if you got rid of like half of these villains, I you could that. give them the rest of them a good story. Okay, now the game's feeling like it's just not giving me. Look, I'm just trying to stun you like the game originally told me to do. Just how fast can you move? Okay, get closer, you can triple. Oh my gosh. Alright, do am I not supposed to triple stun now? You disappoint me. Am I just supposed to counter now? Come on, triple. There we go. What am I supposed to... Okay. Cool. Sure. Whee! 
Wasn't there one more Bane fight, or am I, like, misremembering? No, there's the big Bane fight coming later. Okay. I revel in this. We are as two Oh, we're back out here, too. Whoa! Guys, can we move this along? I see the buildings to explode. Yes. Now beat it out of him! One. Okay, so you gotta wait until the game tells you it's okay to do the triple stun. So basically, it is now Simon Sense, and boom. You shorten things down with the stun. Oh, really? I got mooks here too. Is there a, okay, I think I did the counter right. It didn't give the icon, but... Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Would you stop being a jerk? One, two, three. Come on. I think part of it too is now we have these big guys with these inconsistent mechanics. Like Bane. Oh! Oh, come on, counter in time. There we go. Stun gloves. Come on. Alright, that's just a cutscene. They make it look like you might have a chance to respond, but you don't. You really don't. All right, I dodged that in time at least. One, two, three. Come on, don't let nobody else bug the crap out of me. Just rip it out. Why does he still have health bar left? And there's still more goons. I don't want to deal with goons when I got this little amount of health left. All right, what am I doing? He's about to charge. Nope. Oh, we're right. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Men do not fight with toy. Okay. You must come through me, Batman. Okay, he charged into his own guy. Okay, now I can one, two. Your no, I couldn't. Alright. Oh! Way. Ooh! I just needed one more triple stun. Because yep. you gotta counter him, you gotta dodge him, you gotta do the stun. It's like, I guess they're trying to make the fights more interesting. But instead of being more interesting, they're more frustrating. I did the, um, I did the... I do this whole thing again. I see there is still some fight left in you. And now I did not dodge that in time. There we go. I did the Deathstroke fight earlier today, and it was awful. It It's much... I mean, it looks bad, but it feels worse to play through. And we, it's basically... It seems like the observations were correct. I didn't dodge that in time. And the mook was still able to hit me even though I was caught in that unskippable garbage. And you really can't cancel out of a, uh, into a counter, yeah. And you can't get out of, yeah, yeah. This is where the mechanic. Yeah, you can tell there's just something missing to this that the other games had. How did it hurt me? I'm so sick of you, Roots. Oh, this might be a mistake. 
just how All right, fast got him. you move. Oh, come on, at least I got a fight out of it. I want my Why are you not giving me a window to knock and sink and... Is that my window? One, two... No, it's not. And you just got a shot gloves and automatically jump into the... Wow, that was quick. And I... Uh, moves like a stick of fudge. Don't wear boss! He dodged it twice and he's still not dodged. And now he's gonna have more jerks come and join him. And he's just gonna do that, and we're gonna cut into the next part of the fight, I think. Which is just more venom. He's got more. Oh, wrong way! Please charge into your guys. Nope! You knock them out, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's just gonna tear that off. Which is gonna do what now? Oh, I'm supposed. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. You're supposed to use the shot gloves once they charge up, I think. Then the fight's still going. Be the last knockout, please. Oh my gosh. No. Are you kidding me? Nolan and Baskin can t tell you. Sometimes it gets so frustrating. I am tempted to just eat my microphone. I just right. I don't. I can't think of anything logical, so I just reach for it and just gnaw on this thing. Because yeah, is, made up and for me said it. It's just like it's weird. It's a very quick, tiny looking, and it uses oh my the exact gosh. same animation over and over again, and that's now just like really noticeable. It's and also it's like, really long. It's so many different phases. Yeah. It's like there's there's a rule of three for a reason. And I think this part is supposed to be to charge the shock gloves. So just punch them until the shock gloves are charged, right? I think, though. And okay, you don't have to wait. It's just easier when you have the shot gloves. Right. But wait a but bit. That animation of him pinning you down and then you blocking and oh. kicking. You like we have to see that like eight times. Yes. Why did you? Fight me. All right. Shot gloves on. And now, don't even give him a chance to start. Oh, no, that removed the charge from my gloves, so... Oh. That, at least, you have the counter opportunity. But it's like... Yeah, I couldn't even tell who's... Oh. Nope, that was into the wall. Yeah, who was I even countering there? And the stun don't work on him the first time there. One, two, three. Tell me I could just hammer on him. And again, just like with um, which who was it we just fought? The 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 Copperhead. Just like with Copperhead. Right. Which of these phases reduces his health? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that was my bad. Like, 
which nice. of, like which of these attack animations that you see over and over again, which of these is actually pulling right. his health down and making him weaker? Right, like that whole thing you just did just made him vulnerable and didn't even touch his health bar yet. got shot gloves now and we can do a takedown so this should move us into the last phase I guess because he's got no it barely he still got like two bars of health whoa I'm better able to understand again why this one was so frustrating and why I disliked it so much I also dislike that Bane allows Wrong, goons uh, to join the fight. Yeah, you'd think that would uh, go against... Him. Yeah, that that seems like it would go against everything he stands for. Oh, now we're down to the last bar of health. So he's going to activate it one last time. How many tubes have we torn out and it still hasn't changed? Uh, and he, he, he turns on a dime there. That's... What? What just happened? You just ran out of time. I'm actually curious if Troy Baker helped do some of the mocap of Joker as well. This rooftop's getting too hot. Boom. You got up easy. Tracker, of course. That's the one Batman-ish thing that they kept, but right? That one thing, that's the first Batman thing he's done all night. And it's not obvious and blinking. No, is this going to be a quick time oh. event? Oh, it's Joker he saves, and that tells Joker, oh, he doesn't let people die, but it's like... And it's going to turn into a fight, though. Yeah, you see, he doesn't let anybody die, including himself. And by himself, I mean... No, it's not. It's not as bad as Jared Leto's Suicide Squad, Nolan. That's. Those were two very, very bad men. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. Just like me. No, see, that dialogue, though, was all. Like, the idea of Joker saying he, like, talking about people deserving death and stuff like that. Joker doesn't... Well, I guess it depends on which interpretation of the Joker, right? Right. Like, I love the Dark Knight interpretation of Joker. Because it's a Joker that's got people figured out, and that's why Batman is fascinating. Dark Knight Joker is like, I know... Yeah. How to break someone so they break their convictions and they become dishonest. Batman won't and that's the game, right? That's what makes it right. Work. The odd thing is I like the Dark Knights Joker, but I prefer the animated series Batman. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Would jump off a building to save your sorry ass. That? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. And now we have the origin. Whoa. Why right. he's fascinated with the Batman. It's like it we have to in one night establish their their long status quo. It's just Is he done in the story or is he still 
Welcome to Black. Oh no, he's you're got right. Black. Yep. Oh right. Yep, you're right. Yeah, I think it was Brazos Baz was totally like yeah, there's like, three totally. main fights actually. Oh my goodness! I mean, that depends on how you define a boss fight. That right, the last main encounter fight. is a stealth encounter, that trying to day. mimic the freeze fight. And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's what? nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes, screaming for your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. I completely forgot about you this. No wonder, because this is like madness. somewhat <laughs> killing joke. Oh my goodness, really? I completely you forgot about it. this. This wasn't DLC, was it? Was it? Isn't yeah, I don't think I've ever. This doesn't look familiar to me at all. Off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity. I... <laughs> and of course, they did this <laughs> shtick where you play as Joker, as Batman, as Joker, or like Batman's combat, but as Joker in Night too. Yeah, I didn't love yeah. It there either. He actually is quicker, so I kind of do like it better. That sounds delightful. Acceptance. Look, I'm only doing this to help. Try this again. And bam. My favorite stage. This is completely new to me. Okay. One more. There was an earlier Everybody killing joke reference in the hotel with regards to the amusement park owner. I could see that. <laughs> you want to know something? Funny. Okay, yeah. Now they're doing I the whole Red Hood thing. This. Evil. I don't think I got like a special edition of this game. But yeah. My goodness, this game is so overstuffed. <laughs> We're gonna do Harley Quinn and the Red Hood origin story. And I hate this Red Hood origin story. It's actually one of the reasons why. I like the killing joke, but I don't love it. Because even though the point of the killing joke was that origin he tells, you can't you can't trust it to be true. It could easily be a lie. That's like part of the shtick. But it's like I hate anything that tries to get into any kind of idea of the Joker having an origin. And that's one of the reasons why I loved in was it Arkham Knight? Oh, I'm not Arkham Knight. It was, I think it was Arkham Asylum where you have the recordings. No, 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 no. It was Arkham City where you have the recordings and Hugo Strange, like, because it's almost the Red Hood origin, right? It's Joker goes over, and then at the end Hugo Strange is like, ah, oh, yeah, I know that's all garbage. I know you're lying. And Joker's like, oh, like that's the thing. The whole point was that yeah, Joker was it. Was this in the original game? Or from the plays, the Joker DLC. You think a lot of this is from the plays, the Joker DLC from Asylum? No, the animations. Talking okay. about the animations, yeah. Whoops. She could be fun Ooh, as. Oh. Me. So I'm trying to read some of the comments too. More. <laughs> There's not much else to do because this scene is not interesting, especially at this point in the game when the plot reaches that. There is so much going on with Batman, and we just took Joker out of the story, and now we're going to, like, give him the show. It's well, just... It feels very basically. much like it's for... like. And the funny thing is, this is basically also my cousin and his wife. And it's like, the people that cosplay Joker and Harley Quinn and all that stuff, like, they're obsessed with the Joker and Harley Quinn, and it's like, I feel like they love these characters, the but they drift. never seem to actually Floating. get the characters. Like is right. this a weird thing where it's like, how could you... Like, the drain into something why would you want an origin of the Joker? Fixed. But this is it feels like this is for <laughs> Joker would. fans that kind of a thing. Like and maybe, but then again, maybe some of it is also, again, Warner Brothers. Can you tell me more about but, how this person... Because this is basically killing joke stuff right here. 
Because I think so Batman was there when right. it, uh, in that, Which again, me, untrustworthy I origin. And here it feels like they're making it the origin. You understand? You're someone who's not afraid to let go Which, and fall. <laughs> and of course it's him somehow and I didn't in a single shit. conversation, mind you. <laughs> Turning Harley and Quincell into Harley Quinn, I guess. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured. Yeah, so, I mean, I always imagined that the turning of Harley Quinn was something that took weeks of slow manipulation. Even possibly not, months. Yeah, it's like... Right, not, not a ten-minute job in the middle of Christmas Eve when all this other stuff is going on. And what I really liked about... That was one of the things, the Arkham Knight, like, day one DLC that you got when you bought the game and you played as Harley Quinn. You can hear Harley Qu Harley Quinzel's voice in her head still. And it's like, you know what? I like that. Like, see, yeah, this is like, dang, how can... Mm. I feel like that's like, man, what disrespect to the character. Like, like criminy. Get like, is this was that part of the original game? I have no memory of it. Same. It makes me like this game a little less, even. Same. Oh my goodness. Same exact feeling. That was not. That was like unwelcome, and I just want to like ignore oh, no. it. And even this. Oh, no. This oh. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in there because it's him trying to question why he even saved the guy. Oh my goodness, let's go look at our parents dead, are dead. parents again. <laughs> my parents are dead. The worst kind of criminal. I mean, at least they don't go with the Tim Burton route, though. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight, kid? <laughs> I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve. Now that the Joker's behind bars. I can't Wait, offer it. My parents are dead. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you mm. must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. It's your Wait, fault, what? Alfred. You hadn't you called know, the police, he'd I be in custody? Yeah, I know. It's like, wait a minute, custody how? Would, I guess you, he would have... Wait, who would have been in custody? Bane? Which one? Also, Joker is I, in custody. I hate that Batman is a dick to Alfred. I mean, presumably this is something they're doing together. And I just don't like... I, I know that the excuse is like, well, this is early Batman before he learned how to do it. But I just hate that he's an asshole. Like, I don't believe that this undisciplined rage monster is the Dark Knight. You know? Well, you might love this. Let me actually see a buddy of mine. You know, the glue grenade. No, a buddy of mine sent me a text. Let me bring it up. Um, from an interview. With the new director of the Batman. Let's see. Supposedly, it all started when Reeves put on something in the way while writing the script. When I write, I listen to music, and as I was writing the first act, I put on Nirvana's Something in the Way. That's when it came to me that rather than make Bruce Wayne the Playboy version we've seen before, there's another ver version who had gone through a great tragedy and become a recluse. So I started making this connection to Gus Van Sant's last days. And the idea of this fictionalized version of Kurt Cobain being in this kind of decaying manner. Relatedly, Pattinson was cast in the role partially because the performance in Good Time reminded Reeves of Cobain. In that movie, you could really feel his vulnerability and desperation, but you could also feel his power. I thought that was a great mix. He's also got that Kurt Cobain thing where he looks like a rock star, but you also feel like he could be a recluse. So, in the new The Batman, Bruce Wayne is a wealthy Kurt Cobain that decides to beat up criminals. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. I love how a simple sigh is enough to communicate so much. Uh. Yeah, I keep waiting for them to go back to the detective idea. Detective stories are amazing. Seeing somebody brilliantly figure something out is a whole genre. You get to, like, 
smash pro into into like bruce lee and make the world's most interesting superhero and they're like but what if he was a what if he was a, a disaffected asshole yeah. that would be so much better and it's like oh so where was the workbench down here I keep waiting for them to remember Batman Beyond was a thing and was awesome. At this rate, I don't know if I want them to remember Batman Beyond because Batman Beyond is good as it is. Actually, no, there is one thing that I found out from um, Batman Beyond. Uh, what was it like the Justice League animated or something where it turned out Terry is actually technically so a Bruce Wayne clone. And I was like, then? well, that just makes it less interesting. Alfred. Right. It's like... No, scan the corpse in the GCPD morgue. Oh, so we're going to finally go to the morgue and see their hilarious trap door on the floor. Where is the closest? Where is the, the first thing GCPD is over here, I guess. Burnley. Uh, there's a whole district I haven't been to. That's the objective. Where do I, how do I fast travel to that? Uh, just up to the left, l northwest a little bit. You should be a plane icon. Is there only the one? Use. I guess it yeah. only. I guess I haven't unlocked any others. Oh well. Master Bruce, stop. Give Batman Master Hercule Bruce. Perot's little Bruce, mustache. That'll oh, make it for me now. Yeah. Dude, it's too late. What? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head, and I. I don't want. This <laughs> like, oh, I don't like this take on Alfred either. Well, the funny thing is, it's like, is he supposed fun? to be saying what the audience is thinking? Because who's Ben Ro Ben Riley? Ton Popa the Bard? I don't know that Peter Parker thing, but I know they again. The idea of the Parker parents being secret agents is like one of the worst ideas ever. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins. You will fight me on Batman Beyond. So no, Alfred. I have not oh yeah, the Clone Saga. See, I'm not as up on my crazy Bat uh, Spider-Man uh, lore. It is not Hercule Satan. No, it is not the DBZ character, the supposed strongest man in the universe, or at least the world. Mr. Nolan. All right. You mean back through the sewer hole again? I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because it's okay. I just because I care about you. You're like a son to me. You're like an employer to me. Oh goodness, has someone done has someone done that attempt at an awful uh that attempt at an awful storyline where it turns out like Bruce is actually Alfred's son? Because Alfred oh. and Martha, you know someone's thought of it. Right. It's got to be out there somewhere because it just seems too obvious. It's just right there. Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. We got... He's all the way up there. Nope, he already sees me. Yep. And it was just telling me to drop the uh, pellet. Uh. Oh look, I can complete a uh, I can complete a puzzle. Maybe. Come on, hug it out. Um Is that really it? Is there another button? Doesn't look like there's any other, uh... Oh, okay. So they had <laughs> half of the puzzle as they had it in Arkham City. 
So it's putting me down here somewhere. That was putting me in this building, I think. But how would I get in here? And here again, we have... Which way is the... Oh! Keep the channel open. Cops over there. Why am I crawling around the ground like this? Oh yes, that's right, because the game's just... Not... Yep. I'm at least gonna knock you out and then fly away. Because I hate snipers. Sniper, no sniping. So... Hmm. Is this supposed to be where we use a glue grenade? Do you have it yet? Oh yeah, you picked it up picked it on up. your yeah, left trip just, home. There it is. And then what? What does this do? Oh, all three of them. And then what? I just crawl through? Yay! Wow. There that are so many solving. of these. Yup, just like in Arkham City. So... The problem is... Where's the entry? I feel like it was easier to figure out. Like, here's where the icon is pointing to, right? And I have the... Yes, that's the objective. Oh, I'm sure it's sending you to a sewer lid somewhere. I'm just willing to bet. The, this game has you going into sewers all the time. Like, and Batman doesn't bother to tell you. Yes, I said I'm going to a, a municipal building, but I'm actually going to a manhole cover. Yup, it's right there. And just right where there's we a, got a tango. bunch of guys. And there's guns involved, and there's... Wow, this is a lot of guys. Yeah. Oh, now I got shot gloves, though, so that's supposed to be what makes it fine. That's a lot of... Oh, now they finally caught up with me. Oh. These, these cops really don't mind firing into a crowd of their friends. No, they don't. It's okay, they got bulletproof armor and they're corrupt. Uh-oh, wrong one. Oh, that's okay. This time he gave me enough time. Alright, that should be the last. Oh, no, there's one more guy. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now we can go into the sewer. Alright, now then. We are at the two hour mark. How are you feeling? Because I have a feeling we're about to go through another long location. Though I don't think as long as the hotel. I think we should call it here. Okay, call it there. So next time we'll be doing the morgue. How, um... I don't think we'll be able to finish, because part of me is thinking this game's shorter than I remember, and part of that's because not doing any of the side content. But I also think we got at least two more sh sessions, maybe. So... Yeah. Um, Probably take next week off, you think? It's up to you. All right, well, I'm, I'd probably be down for doing next Tuesday, so we'll, of course, keep I can you do guys... It. We'll keep you guys informed, but yeah, look forward to next Tuesday, 7 p.m., as usual, for more Batman Arkham Origins. Um, tomorrow I'm doing Halo Infinite again at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I should say, Eastern Time, USA. Um, what do you got going on in the blog so far, Seamus? You're about to start your year-end, or you're working on something else? Year-end? Yeah, 
that's that's what's going to be running for the next two weeks is my year end stuff. All right, I look forward to that. Um, a Steve podcast will be resuming after the holidays, and I'm hoping actually, oh, I mean, we'll see who we have on. I know it's going to be me, Steve, and um, Joey, but we'll see if we can get any other people on to discuss games from 2021. Uh, there was a lot of stuff we played, a lot of stuff we enjoyed, but um, otherwise, that's all for us tonight, and I hope to see you guys come back tomorrow, and just for next week for any kind of shenanigans, so thank you guys for watching, have a good night. See ya, good night.